Hi everybody and welcome to another valeting video from me. This week I get to work on this. If the last two Mondays have been mini Monday, uh, today I think I'm going to have to title this one Manky Monday. Outside just a wash and a dry, a uh, bit of a freshen up so nothing too drastic but the customer wants the interior taken care of. There is quite a bit of crud in here. Badly stained seats. There's a tear in there, I can't do anything with that, but just generally the whole cabin is going to need a proper going over. Look at the state of the steering wheel. Gear lever gator, center console, just everywhere you look is full of debris. Door card, all full. Moving to the rear cabin, which is pretty much the same. The car is, well, the, the car, uh, the van is predominantly used as a family wagon. So um, it's got all the, the hallmarks of a vehicle that is uh, in constant and heavy use. Um, the customer does go on continental trips and stuff like that. And uh, they've got a dog and they do lots of um, uh, sport activities. So, you know, it, it, it's fair to say that the, the vehicle reflects the use that it has. But the once it freshened up so that uh, it's nicer for them to get to. So that's the job for today. Again, once the, uh, the job is done, the second part of the video will follow up. So for now, I'll see you on the flip side. Right, so far what I've done is I've scrubbed and vacuumed this part of the seat here, just to demonstrate the difference that just scrubbing and vacuuming can make. Uh, today I'm using this brush just quite a hard bristle brush. But what it does is it lifts all the dirt out of the uh, fabric to the surface, which makes it easier to vacuum up. Um, you can see, hopefully, the difference between this line here and that section that I've done, and obviously the rest of it there. So I haven't got fancy camera equipment or anything like that, but what I am gonna do is prop the phone. I found somewhere I can put it wedge in there just to film and demonstrate what actually does come out when you scrub there you go apologies for any creaking noises but hopefully that's going to hold there and i can uh, scrub this section of the seat and show you exactly what comes out I'm going to apologise in advance because my vacuum is quite noisy, so...
So obviously the stains are still there because I haven't shampooed the seat, but just scrubbing and vacuuming each section makes a massive difference. And you have to do that before you do the shampooing because if you don't, all you're going to do when you add shampoo and then scrub is push that dirt further down into the fabric, which then actually makes it harder to uh, clean. And over time, what will happen is the staining, once the material has dried, can reappear on the surface. So this way, scrubbing it, vacuuming, pre-preparation before the wash, if you like, removes all the surface dirt so that all is left is the stains. And then when you scrub and shampoo, you're actually removing the stains. But hopefully that gives you a little insight into the technique that I use and the difference that it can make. Right, everybody, finally, it's all done. Um, bit of a mammoth effort to uh, get the interior done, but it has come up really well. So cleaned all the, the door shuts to start with, the steps, all of the floor has been scrubbed and cleaned. Now, arguably you could dress it, but the vehicle has done 170,000 miles. And there is an argument to say that if you dress the floor, um, it can become quite slippy. So uh, with, with children getting in and out of the car, the last thing I wanted to do, for instance, was dress these trims here um, because they could be slippy, especially when uh, it's a little bit wet, but there's the driver's seat. All the staining has been removed. It's still a little bit damp, so it's darker than uh, it would otherwise be when it's dry. Um, there's some shading and shadow in there. That's not, if I stretch it out, you'll see that it changes. All the passenger seat has been scrubbed and shampooed all the door cards instrument binnacle steering wheel was particularly bad um, it came off really really black uh, it's it's actually quite worn it almost the material that was covering it to start with has faded away and it almost feels like a like a felt type of uh, covering to it now all the dash top, centre console, all done. And the rear, as you can see, door cards, backs the seats. seat itself which was particularly bad that's all been taken care of the floor has come up really well there's the uh, step trim and again the same on the uh, passenger side cleaned all inside the vents here all inside the glove box the whole thing has been done so full interior van exterior wash and dry that's changed the uh, the appearance of this car freshened it up tremendously so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel please do uh, and I welcome any comments on what you've seen uh, again if you'd like your vehicle booked in for a valet please get in touch I'll put a, um, a link to the number and my contact details in the description below but again thanks for watching see you in the next video